Welcome to the 10th video in this series on creating atmospheric nighttime visuals in V-Ray for Rhino. In this video we'll be following on from the previous video where we added in a few characters and people into the scene and we'll now be adding in some atmospheric fog to give a sense of depth and a little bit of atmosphere to the scene. To do this we're going to start by just minimizing our frame buffer here, opening up our V-Ray asset editor, going into the settings panel and under volumetric environment we're going to turn this on and switch the type to environmental fog here. Now we've added this in let's open up the frame buffer again and just do a test render of our view to see how it's changed with this environment fog added. Now this is loaded in you can see we've got a kind of darker tint to the scene here which is slightly dark blue and we're going to start by just trying to dial in this fog using the parameters under the environmental fog panel. Now to start with we're going to set the colour to be completely white like so and we're going to set the distance to be a little bit closer to the scene. This distance means that at the furthest point it will be the most fog of a thousand metres distance and at zero there will be no fog. So actually the scene's about a hundred metres or so away from the camera so we're just going to put this to a hundred to see the difference and here you can see the fog is pulled slightly more in it's much darker now because that fog is closer to the camera you'll see it's also picking up the light from my external lights here and this big blue light we have is casting quite a lot of light in this fog in the foreground here now we don't actually want it to be this dark so i'm going to pull it back slightly to around 150 meter distance and we're also going to lower the height down if we set the height to a meter You'll see that the fog is just a meter off the ground and we could have that as a kind of low level fog or we can set it a bit higher and i'm going to put it up at around a kind of height of sort of 17 or so let's try that or maybe a little bit lower let's set it to 10 to just sort of be at the top of the building like so so you can play around with that height and that distance value to dial in the exact amount of fog that you want it might be that you also want it to be a bit brighter in which case I'll usually just kind of take the emission from a black to a slightly lighter grey and you'll see the lighter I do this the more white and foggy it gets so let's have it just slightly off black like so. So we've got a slightly lighter fog coming in. You can always kind of get this slightly more accurate just in here by lowering that value down around there I think would be good. So now I think I've got the fog at the right amount. I think this blue light that's being cast a little, is a little bit intense. So what we can then go and do is go back to our lights, find that environment light here and just dial it down slightly. Let's put it down to a two. So we've got to get a little bit less of that glow. And you can play around with the lighting to work with the fog as much as you want. You'll see that the fog slightly kind of blurs the light a bit and adds these light streaks in so it might be that we want to amplify some of these other lights so maybe these round window lights we can kind of take them up a little bit to a 30 to have them glowing a little bit more maybe these internal lights we have let's put these to a kind of 21 to have these glowing out a bit more as well so it might be that you want to just play around with a few of the lights you've already done to work best with this fog atmosphere that we're adding now that we've added that in. So once you're happy with the lighting we're going to leave the fog there and the last thing we're going to do to add a little bit more of environmental effects to this is add what's called a kind of bloom and glare lens effect. Now these are found up in the lens effects panels in your frame buffer. So if we click on lens effects we can click enable bloom and glare like so and at present you might not be able to really see it but if we lower this threshold value it's down to a 0.1 to start with and then we up the intensity and up the size of this effect you'll start to see the areas of light will start to kind of glow a little bit more and the bloom and glare effectively just creates a kind of glowing effect to the light so there you can see I put it on a 50 and that's really strong now so let's set that down to perhaps a 20 or maybe even lower let's do it at a kind of 11 just getting a little bit of glow it might want to be that you want to lower the saturation there just so it's a bit less red let's put it at 0 0.6 and maybe the size needs to either be bigger or smaller depending on the effect you're trying to go for so you can play around with these panels until you get the right kind of glowing effect but i think for now if we kind of 
preview before and after. It's quite subtle, but just getting that little bit of glow in those windows there. So that was just a very quick tutorial on how to begin to add in a bit of atmosphere into the scene. As you can see, it's very easy to add in this fog and this bloom and glare to start to kind of create a nice glowing light tones to your scene. So we're going to finish this video on atmospherics here. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at all the render settings we need to do to start to render this scene out as a final render.